every so often a certain person speaks to me and when they speak to me they are telling me pretty much preaching to me telling me about what they know about God and when I see this person or hear this person do it I am thinking inside my mind since you know so much about God why are you not serving him <laughs> like I laugh in the inside I guess you can say some people read the Bible as an ordinary book you know the way that you would read Harry Potter or some other novel out there some people read the Bible like that the Bible is not meant to be read in that way if you have no intentions and acting upon what you have heard and what you have read in the Bible, it is best to not even read the Bible or listen to teachings, even at a church, if you are not going to act upon what you have learned. What good is knowing the word, knowing what the Bible says, but you are not going to act upon it. What is going to happen? You are constantly going to church every Sunday and Wednesday. You are listening to teachings all the time. What is going to happen? If you choose to not act upon the word, what is going to happen? Your heart is going to harden. Because each time you are learning about God, each time when you are listening to teachings, God is trying to draw you to himself. So when you are listening to teachings, reading your Bible and stuff like that, and you choose not to, to act upon it, what is going to happen? Your heart is going to harden and you are just going to be in the practice of going to church and listening to teachings where you are not going to be convicted of your sins. You are going to get to that point there. People People call themselves Christians. People go to church not because they want to change. It is because they believe that going to church is the right thing to do, which it is. But you should not read your Bible or go to church because it is the right thing to do. You should do it because you want to change. Well, Kevin, you know, my grandmother... Well, my mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother went to church, so this is why on Saturday I go partying and drinking and smoking. Then on Sunday I go to church right after because it is a traditional thing that we all need to go to church. You are going to church for the wrong reasons. You are reading your Bible for the wrong reasons. If you have no intent to change, you are just wasting your time. Listening to the word alone and you are not willing to change, it is not going to do you any good. Why do I say this? I used to go to church so much. I go every so often now, 
but I was going like twice a, a week or more. But at that time period, yes, I wanted to change, but at the same time, no, I did not want to change. So I was under teachings and stuff like that, and no change occurred. What made me change is placing effort in changing. You don't want a hardened heart to the point where you can sit under teachings and read your Bible and you are not convicted of your current sins. You don't want to get to that point. So, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers alone or only, deceiving your own selves. You want to be a hearer and a doer of the word, not only a hearer. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.